Okay, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's okay. So hey, how's it going? My name's Ian. I like Robin. Robin's cool. Don't ask why this doesn't have a head. It's... Anyways, I've made a lot of Robin cosplays, and a lot of them haven't turned out too good, you could say. Let me take this off. Yeah, a lot of them are, aren't great. This is my original Tim Drake Robin. It was just a shirt that I cut. It's okay. But today, I would like to make a new one new and improved version because I have definitely improved over the years of making costumes. So let's do that. To cut the chest pieces how you like, uh, make sure you cut one at a 45 degree angle so it creates that little under boob effect. So the pattern I'm going off of for the abdominal pieces is the Arkham Origins Batman suit. I think that has just really cool ab pieces. And right now I'm cutting them out and I'm going to bevel them with a Dremel later. And yes, I am sick, by the way. That's why I sound all the more crappy. To be careful, I outlined the pieces where I would be beveling, and I think it turned out way better because I didn't bevel past the line. And yeah, that's, that's, that's that, yep. So that's where I'm at right now. I just beveled all the edges of the armor. And it looks decent. So cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Next, we're moving on to the insignia or Robin symbol. All right, so I found this. This is the back of a tap light that I used for another Robin costume that we're not going to talk about. <laughs> and I'm going to use that for the insignia on this one too it looks cool. So I'll cut this out of craft foam. I think it's like two millimeter craft foam. And it's gonna go right there. It's gonna look pretty cool. So quick side story. Uh, I bought these boots for a Han Solo cosplay and these were on them. And they're just a little buckles that I didn't use because it made the boots too long. And it's a long story. So I'm gonna put them right here as the buckles for the Robin suit. So after I was done, I hot glued all of the abdominal pieces together. Alright, so it's time to do some research for the shoulder armor. I decided to go with a very circular kind of not cone, but sphere, half a sphere shape. I don't know, it was, it was weird. Um, but yeah, I cut them out in no particular order. Just flipped them over and marked the lines where they would be going together because it's hard to make 2D things 3D sometimes. Okay, so we're outside now. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat form shoulder pieces. Hi dog. Basically, I'm wearing the mask because anything helps, but uh, this will not stop the fumes. So if you get a real respirator mask that keeps particles and fumes out, that'd probably be the best. Um, but I'm lazy, so I just didn't. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, now I'm gluing the pieces together, and the thing to uh, that I would recommend to you to do is to glue like inch by inch instead of just glue the whole thing at once. Um, I'm using hot glue, so it doesn't stay well when you just hold it for three seconds. You have to hold it for a little while. For some reason, I like to punish myself with that. Uh, 
Okay, so I ended up finishing these, and then I cut some pieces off just to make it a, more, a little more shapely, a little more uh, bird-esque, and then I attached them to the main armor with elastic straps that I got from Walmart, and then I attached the ab piece, the abdominal to the chest piece, using some regular fabric that I had laying around, so cool. So you can see this is starting to take shape, and it's almost ready for paint. So that is exciting. Now I'm going to glue the backing on. And the back I just made out of like a thin strip of foam and then like a huge block for the back piece. It's really nothing because I know a cape's going to cover it. So I was lazy with this part. Okay, I'm back. It's like three days later because I had school and work. Actually, I didn't have school, that's a lie. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I got a few things done. All right, so let's put it in the light. I got the abs done. I got it glued on to here, and I added these oblique pieces that I used the same ideas to make this, to make this. Yeah, now it's time to paint. After I spray painted this matte black, I'm gonna go in with some red. I tried to do something different with Tim Drake, um, although keeping the same colors that he usually wears um, in the old comics or in the Batman the Animated Series, which is black and red. And yeah, um, these paints weren't too good, so at the end I ended up mixing metallic paint, like metallic bronze with the red, and it turned out really cool. Now I'm going to cut strips of 2mm craft foam to cover my mistakes or hide the crimes as Adam Savage would say of my crappy paint skills. I also put a piece of foam down the middle to cover the seam and I think that looks pretty sweet. So since these buckles are metal, yeah, just my luck, I'm going to have to use super glue instead of hot glue. I don't know why I did this when I could have just super glued it to the costume itself, but I glue foam on so I can hot glue the foam that's super glued onto the buckles onto the, the costume. Yeah, don't ask me, I'm, I'm sick. I don't have a reason for it. These gauntlets, I will have a video up, probably, um, a process video on how I made them. Uh, but this video is just the torso armor, so that's fun. So the cape was pretty simple. All I did was have this tatted up old Halloween costume. I don't know what it was, but it was drapey. And I glued it to this piece of foam. Then, I'm going to glue it right here. Alright, so I would normally put straps at the bottom here too, like I did up there. But, since I'm going to have that belt, you can't see it, that belt is going to cover this and this, and it's going to make it one. And it's going to make it stay on my body, so it's, it's fine. Everything's fine. guys so this is the costume finished and with the belt on with the gloves bracers everything's together I like the way it looks I ended up having this uh, undershirt I think it's like Under Armour and it actually works really well with the color I didn't plan this but it works well and so here let's get in depth with this if I can try here's the back Cape, bracers and everything. I'm really happy with this. I like how it turned out. And I think this is the best Tim Drake costume I've made to date. So cool. By the way, the mask is just a heat-formed piece of foam 
that I heat formed over this Batman mask. It, it's bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. Whoa, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have anything else that you would like to see me make, leave it in the comments. And yeah, that's cool. All right, so that's the end of the video. Uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, cool, yeah, bye.